was in my humble abode where dreams of influencer stardom come to die. Or at least get buried into a pile of laundry. Check. First up is aesthetic. Step one, find your aesthetic. Whether it's minimalistic chic or chaotic clutter like mine. Just make sure you look good on camera or if not, crop it out. You gotta engage with your audience like they're your long lost best friend. Reply to every comment with a LOL or a yes queen or just something that doesn't make you seem like a douchebag. And if they call you out, just don't even care about it. Just block them. What are they going to do about it? Cry about it on the internet? And next up, content creation. Who needs sleep when you can spend all night editing photos and videos and getting the right caption for your Instagram feed? Remember, it's not about being real. It's about filters and Facetune. Remember, it's not about being real. It's about filters and Photoshop. Collaboration is a good key to success. They say find other content creators and influencers who are willing to be fake friends with you you got to be able to build a bond and a fake friendship to be able to collab to be able to collab uh so yeah look here's what we can do in the video um and finally monetization because who needs integrity when you can shell out questionable products to your reasonable and well done followers and finally monetization. Because who needs integrity when you can chill out questionable products to your impressionable followers? Just remember, just, to, just remember to disclose the ad in the top corner in the smallest font possible. And there you have it, folks. And there you have it, folks. The not-so-glamorous life of influencers. But until next time, stay real or stay fake. Or just do whatever to get you bye-bye-bye to get them likes, to get them likes.